Hey growers, what's up? My name is Lucas and today I'm going to be talking about a popular topic in the gardening world and that is topping peppers. So what do I mean when I say topping? Well, it's actually very simple. It just means cutting off the top of the plant. Now you might be asking yourself, why would people do this? Why do they think this is a good idea? Well, you see, a lot of people think that when you top a pepper plant, it's going to force all these branches to grow, and therefore you're going to have a bushier plant that's going to produce more peppers. Is this true? Well, I don't think so. And that's what today's video is going to be all about. Why I don't top my pepper plants, and why I don't recommend you top yours either. On the surface, this seems to make sense. I mean, you're cutting off the top of the plant and then at each leaf node, you're gonna have all these branches sprouting out and producing a big bushy plant that's gonna hopefully support tons of peppers. So why in the world would I not wanna do this? Well, there are several reasons. The first being that it actually really doesn't do much. From my experience growing peppers, they tend to be very bushy plants and they tend to produce lots of side shoots regardless of whether you prune them or not. Take a look at this plant I grew. You can see it's extremely bushy, it's got a ton of peppers, and guess what? I didn't top it. That's right, I didn't top it. I left it to its own devices, it spread tons of branches as I mentioned, and it produced a huge load of fruit. I had so many peppers, I didn't know what to do with them. I just basically threw them in the garbage because oh. I can't eat these things. These things are crazy. Are you kidding? Do I look crazy to you? Reason two I don't top my pepper plants has to do with the branch size. Now, if you grow a pepper plant naturally, what happens generally is you get one thick main stem and then it usually forks off into kind of a Y shape. And then from there, you get more forks and more forks and you get kind of this canopy effect. Now those first couple forks are where most of the peppers will actually grow from. So if you cut off the top of the plant before it develops those forks, basically you're throwing away fruit. You might be thinking, whoa Lucas, didn't you ever think that when you cut off the top of that plant, you're going to get all these really nice thick strong branches growing out of the sides? Yes, I have thought about that. However, these branches that grow from the leaf nodes of pepper plants tend, in my personal experience, to be weaker than the main branches. So really it comes down to do you want a ton of skinnier branches or less branches but thicker branches that can support a lot of fruit. At the end of the day I guess it's kind of six of one half dozen of the other. In reality I actually think that an unpruned pepper plant can support a bigger fruit load than a topped one. If you're wondering that thing behind me is not a black snake or is it? No, it's really just some irrigation drip lines that I'm going to be installing later this spring. So stick around if you're interested in seeing how I set up my drip irrigation system. It's pretty cool. I have it set up so it automatically waters my garden. It's super efficient. I don't have to go out and water my plants. And basically I can grow a garden on autopilot. The third reason I don't top my pepper plants is that I personally haven't found any real proof that says that you're going to get a higher yield from doing this. I think a lot of it comes down to the novelty of it. Sure, you might get a stronger plant to begin with, but in the end, is it gonna really produce more peppers and is it gonna be a healthier plant? In my opinion, no. Now the fourth reason I don't top my pepper plants is that I have a relatively short growing season. Here in Zone 5B Canada, it's cold and I wanna get my plants producing as fast as possible. I don't wanna have them set back by having to regenerate new growth because I cut off the top of the plant. I just wanna get things in the ground, get things going, and get them producing fruit as fast as possible. For me, the goal is to have the healthiest, most productive garden I can possibly have. And in order for it to be the most productive, I need it to be producing fruit at full tilt so that all these fruit are gonna ripen on time before the first frost in my area, which tends to be around uh, mid to late September. Hey, if you're a fan of topping pepper plants, that's okay, that's great. One of the great things I find about gardening is that there's really no right or wrong answer. You can do things different ways and get great results. Is one way better than the other? Not necessarily. And that's why I think you should go out and try it yourself. Try growing some peppers this year and see what happens. I'm really excited about this growing season and uh, you know, I just can't wait. I just wanted to discuss this topic with you because it's a big one in the gardening community and I wanted to put my take on it. So hope you enjoyed, hope you found it informative. And uh, if you did, please leave a like and uh, subscribe because it helps my channel grow. And I really hope that you come along with me for my half acre vegetable garden journey this year. It's gonna be fun and uh, it might fail, it might succeed, but uh, that's, that's why it's so fun because I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm excited. All right, well, I'm rambling now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.